What's up, everybody, and welcome back to some more Once Human. Thank you for all your support on the last few episodes. I, I really do appreciate that. Today, we are jumping back into right where we left off. Uh, we do have some stuff that I want to try doing. So we made our way at the end of like the last episode to these two areas, explored them, uh, got the relay activated. And then we still have this quest over here that it, currently it's recommended level six. And you can see I'm level five up here at the top left. So my goal is to make my way over here to the Rotten Manor and then also probably this one to the Citrus County. Explore these, see what's over there. And then once we're done with those, we'll make our way straight here. Um, now, one of the last things I unlocked towards the end of the last episode was the ability to craft the, um, the garage. So that way we can get our first motorcycle, which seems pretty cool. So I just made some copper, or no, I made some charcoal, so that way we can make some copper here and hopefully uh, make that before we head out. I don't know what else it's going to require. Uh, if we look over here under the racer, it just says build garage, and then we'll see what the actual motorcycle itself. So if I go, yep, there it is. So it requires 13 copper ingots and then uh, 10 rusted parts which luckily I've got 11. Um, that's a, that's the plan for right now. As always, thank you guys for all the likes so far. We'll see if we hit the 20 like goal for this one as well. Might do a back-to-back -back recording for this today, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. So let's uh, grab this here and get right into, oh man, we need some more. So in order for me to do that, I'm gonna need more copper, which luckily I think there's some right here. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, this time I'm actually running around with some pants now, too. Because last time I did not have enough uh, resources or anything to craft the, the pants. Until the very end, where I found some hide. Wait, these are these, like, regening? Or... These must be regening, like, really fast or something. Oh, there's another... Okay. There's another person for like two seconds and then they disappeared. You've left your territory. All right, let's try grabbing this. I'm just gonna grab enough. That way we don't have to kind of like come back. Oh, we're in Tempest Bloods. Oh wait, somebody has, so you can actually see people's posts now. This is my whisper. There are like many, but this one is mine. <laughs> there are many like it, but this one is mine. Howdy, neighbor. Just meeting the neighbors. Feel free to bug me anytime. Hee hee. Wait, so that, that's so cool. You can actually leave whispers like that. So it, it literally is like the Dark Souls style of lead it, leaving a message on the ground. Okay. I'll grab these last three and then we should be good to go. I'm still really enjoying the atmosphere of this game. Like it's it's been really cool so far. It makes me excited because I mean it's I I don't know how long it's actually gonna be until the full release for this game, but probably when it does happen I'll, I'll do a live stream rather than just like a recording uh, during some downtime. So, either way, it should be a, a good time. Let's see. So that's going to make, hopefully, the rest of them. Yeah, we should be good after that. Let me check again. Facilities. Yeah, I need uh, six more. We got a very bare bones house right now still. Man, that, that house, I'm pretty sure that was like mine last time I was logged in. It's been a few days. Um, and technically, right now, as I'm recording, there's another episode, uh, the second one that I did last time, that's about to go live. So I'll probably post this. Well, you, you guys will see it once it's actually posted. Of course. All right, we got that. Let's see if we can craft this little uh garage here i don't know if it's gonna be attached to it or does it have to just like go anywhere 
not be supported. What was that? So I could put it right here. Be awesome if I could. You know what? Uh, let's see. Get as close to the edge. That way I can just drive it off. Got the garage crafted. Let's see. Claim this. Now, how do we make the motorcycle? Let's see. Basic parts. Okay, optional list. They need to make at least one of these, which we'll need copper, rubber, disassemble scraps, okay. We've got a decent amount of that. Is there anything I can craft so far? For the wilderness, disassemble scraps, okay. All right, it doesn't seem too bad with what we need to, to craft this. I think we need all the items first before we can, yeah. Like I can add this right now, but it's not gonna use it until you add all the basic parts and then click craft. So I'll just have to add that again next time. Um, let me actually grab this, grab the rest of these. Hopefully that's enough to make them. Do we have like a disassembler or something like that? I think we do. Yep. Oh, wow. And disassemble. Let's see if we get enough. Back to the garage. Okay, yeah, we've got enough for that. Hold on. If we get the motorcycle first thing, then I would be actually kind of impressed. Uh, all I need is copper, and I think we got it. So, okay. Let's get a little bit more copper then. Feels like we got some, like, infinite copper mines right here. I kind of like this spot, though. I got, I got lucky a little bit. I think those are supposed to dismantle after you mine them, but it seems like they're... They're not, yeah, like that. Like, break apart. Seems like their regen time, though, is, is pretty fast, which is fantastic. One of the harder thing with harder things about uh, a lot of survival games is like, or I mean, even MMOs in general, like enemy respawn times or resource respawn times can be a little bit higher. Is that shell rock? Cervantes territory. That's kind of a cool spot to have a house. <laughs> as long as, well, actually, I wonder if you can drive the uh, the bike through through the water here. Like, how deep does it go? I still didn't figure out how to leave the message like this. Or use emotes. Enter your territory. Energy and hydration slows. It's down by... Whoa. Wait, that's really cool. It goes down by 80% when you're in your own territory. Never realized that. Alright, we gotta make the... Uh, copper ore first. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> We gotta cut down some trees. I forgot you need wood in order to make charcoal, and then after you make charcoal, then you can do the copper ore. The biggest thing that I run into an issue when it comes to survival games is this kind the kind of loop where you start out 
and then you have some friends that end up playing the game, and then you start out over again, and then you realize something else is different, and then you start over again. again. And I'm trying not to do this this time around. Like, if I start a character, or like once this game fully releases, wherever I start, that's where I'm staying, because I end up, you know, after doing the same intro over and over, like, yes, you know where to go, and all that, that's great, but... It, it always ends up burning me out too fast. And that's kind of what happened to me for uh, Palia, or not Palia, Pal World? Yeah, Pal World. I started over three times, and then by the third time, I didn't even want to go back the next day because I was like, man, I've done the same thing three times in a row. This time, though, uh, I mean, the cool thing with this is there is this storyline or this lot that we're trying to follow so far and then just in the meantime i'm building up to getting there um so hopefully are we able to like fast travel over here forget how oh it's the teleportation tower oh so this is the teleport thing Ooh. so we won't be able to teleport there but i will be able to the craft uh, the bike and then hopefully take that over there. Nice. Make a ton of copper ore. That way we're ready to go. Let's see if we've got any new weapons. So what what weapons was I using towards the end? Do I have two shotguns equipped right now? I oh, know I have a yeah I have a shotgun and then I have the bow too. It looks like there's like a calibration thing. Accessory. We got stickers we can throw on. Okay, a decent amount of customization and stuff, which is cool. All right, let me try grabbing some of these. Not sure if this will be enough, but let's let's take a look. Garage. Put that there. And we need four more. It might be good. Three. Cool. Leave the rest of the stuff right there. Drop this in. And there we go. We got our first bike. Your vehicle is ready for a ride. It looks pretty sick. Very like Days Gone-esque. All right, so it looks like you'd be able to change the color, all that. That's kind of cool. Chessboard. I kind of like the classic. Nice and clean. Journey complete. Take a look. Ride the motorcycle for a hundred meters. All right, cool. Teleport recommended. Can we actually teleport over there or no? All right, well, we're gonna go over here anyways. The manor sounds pretty cool too. So we'll be able to collect any materials on the mean, or well, on the way. Let's see, so you press G to pull out your bike. Oh man, it does require fuel, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Okay. Got a little, little bit of physics to the wobble. It does it does feel a little rough. Okay. Eh, I don't know. It's it's like 50-50. Like it feels fine, but then other times it's like, eh? Huh? I guess it, it gets the job done. I like how the music is starting to hit now. Oh, there's a little, little rabbit. World 7 safe. Okay. Looking at the top right. The in-game time is 7.02 p.m. 
so that's where we need to go for the main objective, but I'm gonna still follow the road to go to this next thing. Oh, okay. All right, well, do I have to repair it and stuff? Man, <laughs> start. <laughs> Starting out on this thing is slow. I'm holding shift down too. I don't think you really go any faster than this, unless if maybe down the line you get some upgrades. Man, it is struggling to go up this hill. It's definitely a little bit faster than walking though, so. That's a positive. Got some enemies out here. Yeah, I remember the last episode that I did of this game. It was definitely more combat heavy than the first one. The first one was really going through the tutorial, getting out into the open world for the first time. But this one, uh, I'm assuming this one's gonna be, what that, what is that? Okay. Let me try grabbing this. When the next traveler, make sure you go back to temporary camp and delete it so the new players don't sh struggle trying to find room. Thanks. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Unlocks in this story. Just build your workbenches and get the SMG unlocked. Oh, wait, are they saying that this just build your workbenches and get the SMG unlocked? Maybe I should go back to the main story then. Bullets in an RPG, dodge, dip, duck, div, and dodge. Doge. Why is it covered? Huh. So I think that one person said that we have to go do the main story to, to do this then. Let me throw on the, uh, the flashlight here. Oh. oh man, my, my setting is reset. Yeah, I, f I thought something was off. Right, second floor. Oh man, that's so cool. I love that. I wonder what happens if, like if you try leaving one of those. I wonder if it just lets you type things out or if it gives you like suggestions or something like that. That's awesome though. Alright, maybe I will go to, you know, if I hit level 6 while searching this place, we can always come back to that relay and activate it later on. Looking for the mystical crate, so I wonder if it actually is up here. Oh, there's something in there. So every, it must be like every 5 seconds is a minute in game. Oh, here it is. Here's a crate. Melee amplifier. Oh, there's the mystical crate. Technically, I think this is the, the third floor, but that's okay. I mean, they weren't wrong. There was a, a crate on the second floor. Wow, that one was way easier than the... It was way more, less subjectives than the last two uh, locations that I've gone to. Right, let's pick that up.
Okay. I could go over here. How many things? There's only one and one. But I can't act. I'm assuming if it runs into the same relay, then I won't be able to activate it. Let's see if... Yeah, I don't think I can't do anything there. Does my bike regen at all? Wait, what is the, the beeping? I just realized. Why does it say 20 on my back? It was beeping a little faster. Wait, can I kill like this? Dead tree. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out as we go then. Hop onto this thing. Let me actually check my settings. I think I'm gonna go back to toggle. Toggle aim. Because it switched it for me. Uh, is it under here? Mouse display? Maybe it's this. Oh, yeah, yeah, even all this reset too. Definitely want to turn that down. What are if uh, motion blur turn back on then? Yeah, this reset. Huh. These things off, motion blur. To be honest, motion blur was on low, so it's not too bad. Controls, here we go. Aim, we'll do, yeah, I want to switch these two. Over the shoulder, press, hold is aim. Perfect. All right, we'll, we'll go over to the main objective. Actually, that's fine. Man, there's so many camps here. <laughs> what the heck? These are all like the the portable build your own camp. Okay, there's got to be some like story objective there or something. That's probably what that note was about. Rookie ride achieved. We got some speed going down that hill there for a second. Guys, once again, thank you for all the likes so far. Appreciate the uh, the support as always. We'll see if we hit the 20 likes during this video here. But uh, this game is definitely something special so far. So I'm hoping to put out some more of it when I when I have time. Enter the safe zone. All right, we'll talk to everybody in a in a second here. Let's go talk to the main objective first. Mary, meet Mary in Deadsville. Good. You made it. You're the one who activated this tower? Yeah, I figured this was the quickest way to bring you here. These towers are even supposed to let, let you turn on travel autoplay. between worlds. But I haven't been able to figure out how. Maybe you'll have more luck. Either way, I'm glad it got you here. Deadsville is the perfect place to dig up info on the area. That merchant over by the old truck looks like she gets around. Maybe she huh? knows something useful. <laughs> All right, Mary. You didn't have to uh, lay her out like that. I think they mean something else, but still. Interact with the teleportation tower in a neutral stronghold or the wilderness to activate it. Your teleport between the two. Okay. At a tower, you can switch between worlds. Uh, okay. So I think the worlds are like the instances for this. So like if two people are on the same server, I'm guessing like 
I might be on world five and then say if I have a friend that's on world seven, you know, switch on, switch between the two. Talk to, talk to Claire. See anything you like. I'm always open for business. I'm just looking. Wait, you're a mayfly, aren't you? Thank God I could use some help. My name's Claire, Claire Lay. Normally, I'm a wandering merchant, but now I'm stuck here. I sent a team over to a place called the Rotten Manor three days ago to collect some goods for me. But they never came back. Maybe they ran off with the goods. Don't be so cynical. I've been through thick and thin with them. They wouldn't do that to me. I'm afraid something must have happened to them. Rumor is the Rotten Manor's seen a surge of deviance recently. I suspect there's a deviation behind it. Hmm. Why do you say that? All I know is what I heard from that well-dressed gentleman over there. He should be able to tell you more. He definitely stands out. We'd better see what he knows. Good luck. Oh, and I'll happily pay a reward if you can recover my stuff for me. I'll mark the location of the Rotten Manor on your map for you. Oh, that's Just, funny. Just uh, make sure to stock up on ammo before you go, all right? That's that's exactly where we were just at. Well, that explains it. Cool. Talk to Lowe. Talk to a gentleman in Deadsville. And know the place for the first time. Through the unknown, unremembered gate. Here's somebody else's motorcycle. Are you rehearsing for something? <laughs> ah, a mayfly. And one who seems to be brimming with potential. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Do you know about a deviation affecting this area? You've come to the right man. I am Samuel Lowe. A humble scholar specializing in the fascinating phenomena we call deviations. And as for mm. you, you seek keys with which to unlock the Dark Tower, don't you? But I'd be wary of what else you might open up. Do you always speak in riddles like this? I was merely setting the mood. <laughs> now, you can definitely see the closed the beta aspect of this game. That monolith, aren't you? But as I said, that tower is locked up tight. And its keys are rift anchors, scattered across the Dayton wetlands. Rift anchors? Those things are made by Rosetta, aren't they? Activating them should give us access to the rift space inside the monolith. Spot on. And where would these anchors be? Usually places with the heaviest stardust pollution. The Rotten Manor would definitely be one of them. Right again. I'm mm. looking forward to seeing what you can do, Mayfly. And by the way, I wouldn't mind adding another deviation to my collection. In fact, I'd reward you handsomely for it. Okay. Negotiate the next steps with Mary. What's the plan? Sharing the information we've just acquired with Mary. Now that we know what to do, let's split up to cover more ground. I'll find a way to hack into the monolith. Once you've activated the rift anchors, come meet me at the monolith gate. Sounds like a plan. Just don't forget to bring plenty of ammo. This won't be easy. Oh, and one more thing. I have a motorcycle here you can use. That should help speed things along. What? I just got my own motorcycle though. <laughs> I guess I'm I'm ahead of it. One enemy FF. Love this game. Other, this game is so fun. View commissions. All right, let's just follow this. We'll just oh, do the yeah. objective. This looks like it'll be fun to ride. All right, here we go. Back over to the Rotten Manor. Yeah, it kind of worked out going there anyways. What is this?
Oh, you can actually turn the headlight on for this? <laughs> Where's the music coming from? Oh, there's a radio. Oh, no. Classic. But I wonder if it's copyright or not. Temporary respawns points. Alright, I'm kind of nervous it might be copyright, so I'm going to turn it off for now. Oh god, oh god, oh god. What happened to my weapon? Okay, there we go. Missed. This is fine. Homeless camps are even a problem in video games. That's funny. Alright, let's uh I guess I gotta set up my own here too. That's so funny that they're they're all over this place. Crap dude, I forget how you do it. Is it is it through here? Facilities? Functional. I think this is like, oh, here we go. Uh, no, that's outdoor. Copy building part camp. Oh, okay, cool. The structure cannot be built near a road. See how how close I can get. So this will work at set. Uh, I'm, yeah, <laughs> this will be my work. This will be my respawn point. Struggling. That's funny that you can see everybody else's too. need a good spot to put it down at. Oh. We need better terrain. Come on. Not be built near a stronghold. All right, now we're getting into the woods. Oh, 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 there we go. This is mine. <laughs> oh, we can boil water here too. Oh, hell yeah. We actually do that. Healing bandage. Antibiotic. Sure, I'll do like 10 of these. I was wondering where you uh, make these again. Antibiotic. Weapon crafting, armor crafting. Okay, cool. Just give this a second. Oh, it'll be done in a minute, actually. How are we doing on... Yeah, I'll drink some of this. Get my hydration up a little bit. So I wonder what's going to change this time when we get to the manor. Oh, that's cool. So when you hover over the world, too, you can see what rewards you'll get from searching these places. Kind of like what I needed to be able to craft my own motorcycle. Repair a motorcycle once. The last thing I need to get that. All right, is this done? All right, I'll leave the rest there.
I kind of like using the bow so far. Pick up my ammo. Yeah, definitely want to stay on top of uh, the arrows. Found a jacket. Stardust pollution is getting worse. I think we found Claire's goods. Too bad her team didn't make it though. Whoa. Oh. Oh, oh. I definitely came prepared. Ooh. Oh god. Got him. Let's take a closer look. Wait, all at the deviation wheel? No, oh, well. What the heck? What is happening? Oh, it must have like taken me to a different instance. Okay, yeah, that's. Hopefully, that's like a closed beta aspect right there. Similar to what we encountered here. Their Access the rift entities Hopefully that are found on monoliths. There. Explore the Dayton wetlands settlement and unlock enough rift anchors. Okay, so now I think we need to go over to this one. Yep. Is that, like, is this whole area called that? They, uh... Dayton Wetlands? Does it tell me? Yeah, it does. What is this considered? Iron River? Level 21. Okay. Oh, each district has levels to them. Yeah, so this is all level... Over here is level 1. Then this turns to level 5. Broken Delta, level 12. So where's level, like... <clears throat> Iron River, Chalk Peak. Let's see how far out can we go. Rift Space. Okay, all this says level zero. So Chalk Peak is level 32. Somewhere around here. Okay, cool. Tutorial. Yeah, let's go do that one then. There's Now we're starting to see like side missions show up. All of childhood. We've also got another mission over here. Talk to somebody nearby. Yeah, let's let's go to this uh, quest then. Hop on the bike. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's definitely opening up more. I mean, as if the game wasn't already opening up a bit. Oh, that's funny. It's right by where my camp is. Where are they? So is they're like right here? Hello? Press tab to open the roulette wheel and select summon V. Ah. Is everything, have you found any difficulties? Accept and complete a commission to earn rewards. Hold tab to use the function wheel. Uh, summon V and talk to him to enter commissions menu. View commissions. Ah, okay. That's kind of cool. Complete any five commissions to receive these rewards. Click on a commission, accept it. Like five messages left by other players. How many can you accept at once? Does it say remaining refreshes? Melt any ingot stone. Defeat 15 deviants. I'm looking for like a tracker to see how many we can accept. Or can we just like keep accepting? Oh, you can take five per board. Uh oh. 
Gather 20 plants, 60 copies of garbage at the... Okay, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, these are all easy. Easy peasy ones. So we have week one, week two, week three, week five, and week six. As completed. So we have... Oh, so world tasks are the commissions that I picked up. Cool. Cool. And then these are, that's just our main objective. We got commissions here. You can see all, okay. I'm, I'm seeing where it's going. Make our way over to this area. Actually, I'll set the marker for that specifically. And since we're right here, I'll just grab this. Grab some copper ore. Hop on the bike. And back onto the road we go. It's so nice that you constantly have a mini mini map too. And then if you select an objective, you can just follow that to it. I actually love that. Can I snap while on the bike or no? No, I don't think so. <laughs> There's a little horn. It's like a a deer back there. The Corgi Crusader. That's so cool that like as you're going by damn, some of these people build up houses. Like that is I I will live there. Harvest season. New task. Let me see. Anna has something to tell you. Talk to her on the highway. Oh. Did I walk past her? Or, well, I mean, drive past her? Let me uh, like some posts here. Like confirmed. I got like five of them. Fade's vending machine shop. Come check out the vending machine shop. Continue up this road until you see a house of the vending machine to your left. What? Wait, that's so cool. I love the community. Hello there. General Kenobi. I love how the community can leave like stuff like this everywhere. Do Hannah a favor. It's not safe out here alone. Whoa! Do you need help returning home? Don't you worry. I have a I'm voice. I'm capable of defending myself. There's something else I need help with. Not far from here is my hometown, Citrus County. It's ruined now, full of deviants and stardust. I left 12 years ago, and I haven't returned. Wait, her since, badge says Dr. Marie Doe. I still can't forget Doe. my friend Peggy. She and her husband Ben had a farm there where they grew the freshest vegetables you'd ever tasted. Until those raiders killed him. So you want me to fetch some object for you as a memento of your friends? No, not really. Wait, I wonder if we're supposed to the have a voice cure throughout for my the story. My homesickness is to see stardust disappear and life return to Citrus County. I see, but how is that possible? You just said the place is full of stardust and deviants. True, but I believe the stardust pollution declines over time. I've been hoping to check the stardust residue on plants there to see if I'm right best thing for that would be samples from Peggy and Ben's farm. But frankly, I can't see myself fighting off a bunch of deviants in order to get the samples. But you can. You're a mayfly, aren't you? Yeah, that is the kind of thing I do. Oh, I knew I could count on you. So, here's what you should do. First, go to the town center and check the meteorological box. It'll okay. tell you which plants are ready to harvest. And go pick them from the farm. Once you've collected enough samples, check Mayor Russell's house on the west side of town. After Starfall, the mayor invented a stardust analyzer. It's a bit crude, but it works. I think it should still be somewhere in his house. If you can bring me the results, I'd be glad to reward you for them. Got it. I think we can do that. 
my bike still over here? Okay, yeah. Let me actually go over to the other objective, too. I wonder how much of, like, the full game is actually in here right now. Oh, we got another task. Bear. What is that? Uh oh gross. Am I doing damage to okay, I think I got it. Buzzy B. Where was that kid at? I heard the kid in here somewhere. Oh, nice. There's a storage crate right behind here, too. Stardust containment detector. Did I complete that task? I guess so. I think it was, I guess it was that little like box thing that we just saw. Empty bookcase. <laughs> so funny seeing the, like a little spider with a, a light bulb on the back of it. I was watching uh, Co Carnage play this the other day too. Oh, I forgot you can do that. What the heck? Oh, but I was, uh, so I was watching Co Carnage play and he was saying that this game was a little bit harder during the last beta or it was like harder starting out or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure um, exactly what like the full context was, but I do think like generally so far the combat is, is very easy, which personally, I'm not complaining. I'd rather one shot some enemies than be getting absolutely wrecked. Look up. Yeah, so we I think we have to jump to that thing. Jump off the roof and grab the orb. Treasure chest will appear on the ground. That is so cool. I know it's so simple, but I really do wish more games would have like, especially if they're online, having something like that is, I don't know, just like bleeding into other people's experiences. Or worlds is, is a cool feature. Bit hungry now. All right, let's grab this. Trying to find a way up to the uh, the roof. Oh, here we go. Wait, what is this? Jump, jump, jump. Jump around. Jump, jump, jump. Oh. I like that one. Now breathe, do a running jump. No looking back. <laughs> ah! Got it. That's so cool. Go activate the rift anchor. That way we've got that good to go. Level eight. Didn't we just hit level seven? 
I went from seven to eight pretty fast. Grab this. Oh. Oh, he had head protection there. Dust to dust achieved. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 he's, oh, he's. Oh, he got stuck in the power lines. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't think we're getting that. That's fine. What do these guys got to say? Treasure chest, loot crate on top. Did it not? I think Death Stranding had a feature like that, too. Now that I think about it. I definitely want to do another Death Stranding playthrough at some point, especially since they, they I remember the uh, director's mode or update that they had um, added a decent amount of stuff to the game and made it easier for you to travel. I played that game when it came out on PC, so like not enough stuff was really built out for you to be able to uh, to like use them convenience wise. It wasn't until like a few days after though that it finally uh finally picked up. Alright, let's climb up top here. See what we got. Yeah, there's definitely, I mean, you can see the game is not fully finished, which to be expected. Collect crops according to the data. I think the last time I checked the Steam page for this, it said the game was coming around uh, Q3. 2024. So, they still got time. What is that? Rational confrontation. What am I? Oh god, I'm being. I'm, am I being bitten by a bee or something? There's something big over there. Oh, that's normal. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Totally fine. Oh, that's sick. I haven't really gotten to use that ability a whole ton yet. Oh. Well, let me see if I can, uh, Take a few screenshots real fast. Oh, oh. Being chased. Oh God. All right, I'm good. Man, leave me alone. 
I've like barely used my melee weapon. Okay. Where is this? Completed that. You're a bit thirsty. Oh, my, uh... Oh, oh. So at the bottom of the screen, there's a little bit of... Like, underneath my stamina bar and my hunger and all that. I forgot my guy's hungry, too. Uh, let's try eating this. Think that's food? Yep. No natural hydration for 20 minutes. Nice. I uh, totally forget what I was about to say. Let's see if the props are over here. Oh, yeah. Collect some corn. Oh, but the, yeah, there's the bar at the bottom of the screen. I, I guess that might be like a... It's... It's technically stamina, but I think at some point you have to rest too. Cause it seems like it doesn't restore all the way. Kind of like when you take damage in Dragon's Dogma 2, but after some time, like after you rest, you restore all your, your damage that you took. What else am I missing here? We got Pathfinder complete. Uh oh, am I being chased? I think I'm being chased. I am, but he's stuck inside there, so we're fine. <laughs> uh, where'd it go? Another one of these complete. Sorry, there's there's so much going on here. I'm trying to, you know, keep it together, keep it together. Collect crops according to the data. Collect enough crops for the Stardust concentration. more crops here maybe I need to go to the second one. Oh, here we go some wheat aha head to the mayor's house to find the stardust detector I need to figure out how to make uh, arrows again. So I'm definitely running out of them pretty fast now. Down to like seven. It seems like there's a pretty active chat system too right now. People are yapping away. Oh, this thing respawned. Doesn't seem to care about me, though. System. Okay. Uh, current progress. Follow instructions and select crops for testing. Initializing. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, so this moves the inner one three. Wait, so do we have to equal nineteen? Okay, I think I see. Or thirteen, I mean. Oh, yep, yep, I see. I see it now. Ah, shoot. So we need four. Alright, 
how do I move the centerpiece? Almost. Almost. I almost got this. Okay. All right, we need three more. Oh, I forgot that the four wasn't on the bottom. There it is. Holy. Provide samples for testing. All right, so we're going to do corn and wheat. Head to the mayor's house to find the stardust detector. Oh, wait. Results available. Uh, give the test result to Hannah. Let's grab the bike again. There's got to be a better way of like, yeah, taking pictures and stuff, camera. I'll figure it out. All right, Hannah, I got your stuff. Glad to see you're back. Got what you want. I followed your instructions, collected crop samples, and had them tested on that analyzer. Here are the results. Let me see. <sighs> All right. Are the results bad? Well, not exactly. The stardust concentration has clearly dropped compared to the previous data, but it's still not safe for humans. We'll just have to wait a while longer. Well, hopefully there'll be better news next time. Here's your well-deserved reward. It's from my secret stash, so don't tell anyone, all right? Oh, secret stash, okay. Hey, I'll take it. Okay. Meet Mary under the monolith of greed. Oh, it's because we completed all of these. I see. We also got more. Another quest over here. A side quest. I guess we're done here. Oh, you can switch between first and third person on the bike. Huh. That's kind of cool. All right, let's uh, let's actually go over here. And go do this, or at least see what it is. Oh. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to the fawn there. <laughs> what is that? What the heck is that thing? Wait. No way. Is that collecting materials and bringing it back to him? Start trace or 385. No way. Somebody built this report uh, if they have stuff on the wall you can report it great items that's crazy they have little bots running around oh this bothers me that the bike is facing that way instead of the other <laughs> they need to turn this around that is a nice bike though unless if they like launching it off the back there and then driving around what dude that's crazy that's so cool there goes somebody else on their bike all right we got a little settlement here 
adventurer. Passing through the camp is a safe place to rest and recover. Where are you headed? My own passed away. Old man passed away. Trouble is, and I don't know where the lighthouse is. See if I can find it. Lighthouse is a beacon on the sea, diving out the darkness. Oh, wow, that's far away. Level three, though. Hmm. We can teleport over back to my spot. We'll see if it like replenishes me or something. Cool. Got all those back. Hey, can I craft any new facilities? I probably have some points that I can spend for unlocks too. Disassemble all this. Disassemble afterward for a large amount of materials. Cradle? Yeah, oh my god, I have 17 available. I, I actually have not used any of these. Specialization not yet unlocked? Okay, well, in like one more level or two, I'll be able to unlock the next thing. Copper pickaxe? Oh wait, did I already? Oh, I haven't crafted that. Wait, can I make one? Am I, or am I already using a copper pickaxe? I might be. Infrastructure, intermediate tools, intermediate gear, sniper rifles, ammunition, advanced ammunition. Let's actually grab this one. Yeah. Advanced ammunition, uh, intermediate tools, sure. How many I got? 11. Foraging, material toll, expansion. I saw somebody in like the chat system talking about um, getting power stuff is like really good too. Electric stoves, regeneration, or refrigeration. <laughs> That's so cool. Sure, I'll pick up air drying. All right, let's go maybe shotguns too. Ooh, shotgun, assault rifle. All right, I think that's all I can make for right now because we got two points left. Probably the rest of these cost like three. Yeah. What is energy link? So I, I'm assuming that's this. Oh, here we go. Use to buy common items and resources, explore the map, or complete daily tasks to obtain. Okay. Blueprints. We got some new stuff unlocked here. A lot of different... Jeez, what the... Oh my god. Wait, so I have a blueprint for all of this now? Uh, I found new pants. But my current ones are better? Or will they have a better score at least? This one gives me more HP though. Complete journey. Experienced angler. All right, let's see if I can uh, actually, where's the flies workbench? This is where I can make arrows. Oh, we can make copper arrows. Ooh, okay. I don't know why, but so far, I, I kind of like using the regular, like, arrows instead of... I, I haven't had a necessary moment to use guns just yet. So, 
That's another thing. All right, now this stuff's breaking down. Oh yeah, I definitely haven't made the copper. Uh, this is definitely a regular axe. I can see if I can craft that real fast. It is kind of nice going back and forth. You know, like some exploration aspects. And it's like, okay, time to go craft some stuff. It's a good balance between the two, so far at least. Um, all right, let's go. Oh, what did I hit? I think I hit T? No. Oh, T gives you your camp that you can build. I hit U. That's what it was. Oh, these are groups. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can make some copper arrows. It'll take one minute to craft. Is the so weapon craft? I guess right here is where you would make the oh, uh, there's crude pickaxe. There's copper pickaxe. Here it is. I ah uh, man, you need hide. I mean, if there's an animal nearby, you can do that real fast. Let's see. Also, where's the uh, tasks at? Is it just automatically complete? Yeah, it looks like it. Because I had five of them, and I know I've killed a enough enemies for the one thing. But it looks good now. Um, yeah. From now on, I think when I see, like, a, a larger animal, I might do a little bit of hunting. Because it's... They seem pretty rare. Rare they run into, at least, sometimes. Yeah, I'm not seeing any right now. Unfortunately. Okay. That's alright. I mean, even with without it, it's still pretty fast. Also, I guess I can make this now. Self-service. Use the, uh, used to be able to jump for 30 seconds. Oh, so jump booster. That's the uh, specialization that I chose. I didn't realize it was going to be an item that you craft and then you use. Or I could buy, or I could craft an AK. Armor crafting? Craft is unlocked blueprints at the gear shop. Uh, it's like higher tier. I guess you're going to need to hide for all this. Oh, wow. Actually, not bad. Doesn't require too much right there. Will you repair my bow? What? Unable to repair bow as you are not the owner. What do you mean? How am I not the owner? What I do? You can also disassemble your old items and stuff here. How do I know which ones I'm a? What if I'm a, like, if I have this equipped? Okay. All right. Well, we are actually going to leave it right here. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like on the video once again. That makes a huge difference, and we'll see if we hit that 20 like goal. If we do, I'll go ahead and put out another episode. I think I'm gonna do another back-to-back -back recording, uh, so that way we spread these out a little bit longer. Um, but yeah. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, join the Discord, say what's up in there. Every time I go live, 6 p.m. Eastern weekdays and the weekends, I do three streams, 9 a.m., 1.30 p.m., and 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, every time, 
I schedule something or any updates, I always announce it in the Discord. So say what's up. For now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.